guys and we are back and I noticed that in the last couple episodes in general I sort of had a a tangent that I went on like last episode talking about all the industrial craft stuff um, sorry if my computer is running a little slow it seems like it is at the moment but um anyway um, I'm going to try to avoid doing that sort of thing from now on because I noticed like just how how short really 30 minutes is and you wouldn't expect it to take but maybe five minutes to explain like an entire chunk of, of industrial craft but I managed to take up a good 15 or 20 minutes just talking only about it. So from now on I'm going to avoid uh, like going into NEI and just telling you about things. I'm going to show you what they do instead. And uh, to start off I suppose... oh, uh, what is it then? Recipe for string. Okay, it's just three. So then I just need one more. No, two. I need four more. Okay. Thankfully, cotton grows pretty easily. So just lay it out like that. And make myself one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two chests. Because I am making myself a set of backpacks. Um, once I make this first one, actually, I'm going to have to go out and make myself two. Oh, good. Okay, good. Okay. So the three leftover stone that I had, I need two of those for this. And plop in the wool. And now I have my two backpacks. And basically, if I go into this, it acts as a smaller inventory. Although, um, if you look up backpack, and you scroll over, for example, uh, the woven backpacks, like the woven Iceman's backpack. I assume that's just for collecting snow and such, but um, as you can see the difference. The woven one holds three times as much. Uh, the, the regular backpack, it depends on the type of backpack. For example, the miner's backpack requires two iron on the sides, and the digger's requires two stone, forester's two wood. But, um, basically, uh, if you make them out of, uh, first of all, you have to have the carpenter, uh, part of forestry, but if you use woven silk, which is made from bee products, and you take the regular backpack and put a diamond on there, use a bit of water, you get your woven backpack. So, if you have the resources, it's a good idea, but other than if you have it, it's probably not. Um... Also, collect a few more berries. I'm going to show you something that you can't normally do with ordinary food, but the Tinker's Construct allows you to do. If I just keep e eating these, there will reach a point when I can't eat anymore, and that is when my saturation bar is filled. And as you can see, it goes on for quite a while. So it took me, let's see, I had seven or eight in the other, and I just took another 12. So I took about 20, 20 berries, 21, because I just ran out of a little more hunger. And also I've been, yeah, I, I got all those off camera. Um, now you wouldn't have to see me doing this, but I'm trying to get myself a full stack of, of uh, berries. Also, these bushes, like the bushes themselves, keep growing on top. They grow pretty quick. But yeah, once I get a whole uh, stack of them here, it is off for real to go mine. Because, as you saw last time, I just sort of went along and got a bit of coal and such, and that is definitely not what I want to do. I want to go into the deeper parts of the the uh, underground. Also, I gathered a bit of wood earlier, as you might have seen. I had, uh, I 
think it was around 10 last time, and I managed to gather uh, a few more trees, and I planted some. Also, while I was down in that area, oh, it's turning night, um, but while I was down in that area, down there, um, oh, hello, guy. Uh, I managed to start a sugarcane farm, although I don't think I used any of the sugarcane up here, actually. Well, scratch that, I didn't have any to begin with, so I guess just as well. But yeah, um, I'm going to bring, first of all, I'm going to deposit that. And next I'm going to make a pattern. It takes a whole two pieces of wood, just as in logs, to make a single pattern. Thankfully, I only need the one. Oh yeah, I'm going to need to place this back down. First, see, yeah, there we go, sleep. No more mobs. Yeah, I, I noticed that too. I noticed that when I was in the night, that I was just sort of doing that for absolutely no reason when I got on this time because I, I figured out that, you know, um, hold on, need some cobblestone. I figured out that w I already had an entire bed made, so I didn't need to you know, tower in fear. Nope, get up there, okay. Gonna have a stone shard left, but I don't mind that. And then, this guy and this guy. Crafty shovel. And this guy helped me, and bring this guy along. I would make an axe to chop down this this table here, but it's just an extra inventory space for a little bit of time, essentially. Um, let's see, where should I actually start mining? I suppose down there. It might be a little dangerous, but once I get into the earth, it won't be. So, boom. Actually, I should put yeah there. That's where I want it. And up here. I should also be carrying a sword, but I don't, like I said with the uh, the reasoning behind the axe, it's just an extra inventory space and I can easily run from mobs. So I will get myself a mine shaft going, see if I can run into any caves as I go along here. Um, I talked to my friend, uh, who also hopefully plans on doing an LP, maybe even of this pack, um, but I asked him if he would be willing to join me in these episodes, as in, not, uh, in the, the actual pack itself. He, he can do whatever pack or whatever map he wants, but... I was talking to him to see if he would uh, do some steam chat with me, help spice up the commentary uh, for these episodes, hopefully as well for uh, Pokemon, but I, I want him mostly on this because he hasn't hardly played any mods, and, um, oh I need this in resupply mode, if you don't know how I'm doing this right now, changing that little icon on the bag shift right click. This is resupply mode, so basically if I have one piece out here, 45 in here, just refills it. Anyway, um, only that one stack though. Um, but, um, especially on these parts, like when I'm going down to mine, there's no real commentary, and that's why I do the time lapses while I, I watch a video, for example. And I was wanting to see if he would be willing to do that because he's a new player to all these packs and um, I figured, hey, why not teach him at the same time that I get a little bit of better commentary. So um, he wasn't able to do it today, nor Friday, tomorrow, uh, the day after tomorrow rather. But um, he will be able to do it, hopefully, over the weekend on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Um, other than that, I 
suppose I had an interesting day. Not much happened, but it was interesting. Uh, I was jogging the other day, and all of a sudden, I just, I just got some soreness in my legs. And I don't know where it came from. I don't know if it's just a muscle cramp or if it's just uh, something like shin splints. But I don't know. It's just unusual. Um, I'm honestly not sure what to talk about because, you know, I am new to Let's Playing and this is my, technically my first if you consider it a continuation from the uh, Dark Wolf 20 pack Let's Play. So, um, I suppose I can just state the obvious. I haven't run into anything thus far. I can't foresee, uh, ever running into, like, iron ore or anything for, I'd say, probably another 50 Y levels. Thankfully, I am digging this one by one right now, so I don't have to worry about that for too much longer. Also, if you notice on the map, just to the north, it is a jungle biome, technically. Uh, it's like some sort of tropical biome, not like the other one, but... I'm pretty sure it still contains jungle spiders, so as much as I can, I try to stay away from it. Because those things, I'm telling you, those things are like the creation of the devil himself. I, I think it may be nature, actually, that adds them, but I, I don't like them at all. They just sort of pester me and, you know, kill me, making, annoy uh, making an annoyance. Uh can't tell if that's a hole in the wall. Sounds like he's right over there. Um, I can't tell if that's a hole in the wall or if that's a dungeon. Hopefully it's the latter, but you never know. Uh, is this a cliff? Or am I just digging through a patch of, of dirt? Sounds like right there. Oh, I heard the cave sound, so no doubt I'm next to a cave. Probably better that I should have taken a sword, but just to my left. Thank, thank goodness for stereo sound. Lets me detect things like those minute differences. And thank goodness for God giving us ears that can actually uh, detect where everything is. Let's keep going. So the so far the only thing that's in my miner's backpack is some coal. But it is something. Oh, I thought that may have been a cave. It's just uh, slightly darker light level. Also, I cannot dig through that amber. He sounds like he's in this general area. Is he below? Sounds sort of to my right. He must be up or something. But it sounds like there's certainly a lot of them. I have a feeling, though, that this is all in vain because it's probably going to come out in the uh, the canyon. Oh, okay, that's a sign. Well, it's definitely the canyon. You can see the light levels. And light levels don't lie. Neither do these hips. That was quite the... I say tangent, the little adventure I went on over there. But I suppose it's time to get back to pressing matters like getting iron, which of course I'll quickly run through due to Greg Tech rebalancing. Because everything, every machine in Greg Tech, er, in IC2 technically, uh, let me see if I can actually input this directly at mod dot I see okay I guess I works I think I see two is the only one with an I in it it must be um but also obsidian chests the uh upgradable chest mod is amazing 
I'll need to have to get into that to preserve uh, the amount of wood I use. But things is e even as simple as an electric furnace comes from this autom automatic e furnace electronic circuit, which doesn't require force metal. It requires a refined iron plate, two refined iron, two iron, in other words. Um, and this this macerator. Oh gosh, I don't like this. But in general, you're going to need a machine block or some sort of machine hole, like this aluminum or a steel one, I don't know, any of those. But it requires, first of all, a wrench, which requires some metal, but it also requires plates, just as the machine block does. It requires refined iron plates, which is two refined iron each. That's 16. That's a quarter stack of iron for one I suppose one ninth in most cases of a machine. Generally though the other parts of the machine are less expensive. I'm surprised I didn't get ambushed immediately considering oh okay I s I'm not even all the way down also I think I might get ambushed but that looked I saw some water down there so yeah it looks too low for them to jump. Okay yeah, most likely once I do get a bit a bit more wood, the first thing I'm going to make is a uh, rapier so I can deal with some of these mobs. Oh, he could get up actually. Right there. Try to block him in. There we go. Can't block you in, nor can I can I dodge you slash block you. However, I can just blow you up in the water. There. Only half a heart of damage, that's good. And if you'll notice, I haven't lost a single actual hunger this entire trip. That's because of saturation. I ate all I ate those uh I'd say like twelve or so um extra berries that didn't technically do anything for me. But um it, well, they didn't do anything to increase my hunger bar per se, but they did actually increase the max amount of hunger I have, technically. That's the magic of saturation. And things like steak that re uh, that have a lot of extra food, like they restore four, I think, four food in one, uh, one single piece of food. Um, things like that will generally fill up your your saturation much quicker, but you can't eat when you're full, technically. Except with berries. I like those natural textures, they look pretty cool. But yeah, as you've noticed, I haven't I haven't gone on any any particular branches like uh I haven't talked solely about industrial craft or anything like that, so so far I'm doing better than I was the other episode, and actually most of the episodes I've done so far, at least uh, that I've, that I recall, because it seems like in the 30 minutes I hardly get anything done, and if I, if I were to watch my own LP of that, I personally wouldn't watch it, because if you're not going to do much, what's the point in watching? Like, you're just going to be missing out on a tiny bit. And I don't want to feel that way, and I don't want you guys to feel that way, so... From now on, I'm trying to stick to 30 minutes of either full commentary, or 30 minutes of time-lapse of me doing something with uh, some some commentary thrown in there, so it's not just you watching me do stuff. But... That technically that is a let's play. You're just sort of watching someone do stuff while they they provide commentary. Ooh, that's that's quite the lag spike. I don't know what I did today, but it seems to be a little bit laggier. At least it was initially, and I had already preloaded preloaded all the chunks, so I don't know why it was it was uh, acting up. But it, it's at least or it has been at least doing better.
And now I don't like leaving the small hole that I did in there because mobs will generally spawn in there. But whatever I can do to keep mobs out of my hair, I like. We've gone down about 20 levels from the last time that uh, that I checked. So we're making progress, but we're still not even at ground level yet. We're almost there, not quite. I want to say sea level's about 70 or so blocks. We're like halfway there, or at least from where we were from. Also, as soon as possible, I will try to go out with my shovel and get a bunch of clay and, and uh, sand and such. Try to get myself a smeltery and some coke ovens, because I, I did already start that, that sugarcane farm however small it may be. Uh, so once I get a coke oven then I can start doing the real work and stop using my precious coal because coal coke or yeah coal coke is actually uh, I, I want to say it smelts half a stack actually but um the sugar coke which you get from doing the sugar charcoal. In fact, uh, I'm not even sure that it's like that anymore. Sugar coke. No, it is. It's sugar charcoal. So I can just uh, send the sugar through twice. But, um, I can use that and as opposed to wearing the Daryl 20 pack where they rebalanced it to only smelt uh, the equivalent of half the coal in this one, a sugar uh, sugar coke is equivalent to a coal. So I can, uh, in fact, I think yeah, two uh, K EU two thousand EU. Oh, oh, that that's a, that's why it's sugar charcoal. It looked like coal coke. So I'm going to look up coke. Um, the cactus and the sugar coke are the same, but cactus is harder to farm because you can't place them directly next to each other and uh, you'll generally lose a good portion of your cactus just because of cactus itself. But coal coke is eight times as efficient. Oh, okay, so that's that, that smells a stack then. And if I look at coal, keep in mind that the sugar, char uh, the sugar coke was 2000 EU. Um, maybe they put that rebalance in here, actually. Because I thought it was the same as coal, I knew it at, at least melted as much as coal. Hmm. If that's the case, I guess I'll just have to live with that. Or alternatively, I could try to find where in the configs that is. Cause, um, I don't. Yeah, I, I can't see the mod unfortunately. But if I were to go into Direwolf 20 and do a, s a bit of snooping, I could find which mod adds the sugar coke. I have a feeling it's real craft because it introduced the idea of cold coke. Um, but there should be a thing in the configs. I can probably just change that to be the way they were because I'd much rather have it that way. Uh, let me know if you want to. Uh, let me know if you want me to do that because I certainly can. It doesn't seem too hard. I just need to find the value. But um. Yeah, leave me a comment below if you if you want that or leave a like, whatever you what you want to do. Oh, okay, found a cave. Um, try to make myself a staircase so I don't get stranded and then I just place block where it's directly in front of me. Staircase that goes down. Here's a bear pick. Lighting it up. Also. Something that Direwolf20 taught me, he's actually the one from where uh, where I heard of the Direwolf20 pack. Also, Greg Tech or thankfully, Greg Tech does affect the spawning of minerals, like this iron you would ordinarily see, maybe a grouping of three, uh, this three, but too high. But now with Greg Tech, it sort of randomizes it and it places them uh, it 
places a larger amount, generally two and a half times the amount of ore in one vein. But, uh, back to Darwolf. Um, copper. Slightly different shade from the newer copper, but, um, he taught me a tactic that I really like for placing torches. What you do is, it, it doesn't have to be the right, but he did it the right, and I learned it the right, so I do, I do it on the right. But what you do is you, um, you place all your torches on one side of the cave, uh, and at least like on the wall that is, and you'll never get lost because you can always. Uh, just go back to the way that they, uh, they're on the opposite side, and you'll get, you'll find your way home. Uh, the only exception, which is easily amended, is if you're in some sort of, uh, let's say you're in a ravine, and it's a wide ravine, so that you can't just place them strictly on the walls, otherwise things will spawn everywhere. Well, the amendment to that is you can place them on the floor, but keep sure uh, make sure you have a steady amount on the the wall the wall you want. That is, in my case, the right wall. And thus far, I haven't ever gotten lost, except when it turns into a Y intersection, and then I have to check for a second. Like I have to be like, okay. Which way is it going, left or right? And then I know from there. And as you have noticed, I am now under, technically underground. I passed it by a couple of levels, it seems. And so I actually found a cave, a cave that's technically a cave. And as such, tons of ore has been bestowed upon me. And of this, I am very thankful. Oh, and also, a thing to note, I have run out of saturation. I've run into two and a half of my hunger thus far. A bit of aluminum. Can't mine it, dang. Gotta get that iron smelted up. Also, <laughs> here's something else Greg Tech changes. You know how you, you're used to just three iron and gets two sticks? For your your typical iron pick... Well, no more with that. Greg Tech rebalances that. You now need some sort of hammer, some sort of file, and then you need a plate and two iron ingots. So it's now four iron ingots plus whatever you make the hammer and the the file out of. But with Tinker's Construct, you just need your smeltery, thankfully. It's all that keeps me sane with Greg Tech because it lets me make my tools however I want without worrying about making plates. And I think the same applies for things like uh, steel picks. Let me check. Yeah. As far as I know, all the metal picks require one plate, two of the ingot, two sticks, and a hammer and file. Also, um, for the hammer and file, I should, I should note that depending on the type, it goes in order from iron to bronze to steel to tungsten steel. Just as it actually scroll through, I like that. Um, I I wasn't controlling that, but basically, uh, it's also in order thereof of uh, difficulty. Makes sense. You want the harder materials to be the ones you get. Uh, more use out of, and so they uh, they double, except for tungsten steel. Tungsten steel is ten times the previous, as opposed to half, or er, ten times as opposed to double. So iron is one twenty eight, uh, bronze three copper to one ten, is two fifty six. Um, steel, which is technically coal dust and iron in a blast furnace, also can be done with railcraft in a blast furnace, but, um, it is twice that, 512, 
and then finally tungsten steel, which requires tungsten and steel, hence the name, um, in a vacuum hardener after it's been smelted. Um, place this down, I guess. But it has 10 times, so it's 5120. So as you can imagine, you get quite a bit of use out of that, although I don't honestly see a use for the hammer until you get really late, because, uh, or technically, like the tungsten seal is what I'm specifically talking about, like, I, I can understand bronze, maybe steel, and uh, iron, also ore berry bushes, yes, grow some ore, <coughs> but I honestly don't see the use until later game when you make the huge multi-block structures with Greg Tech, such as the uh, the large steam turbine, which occasionally require uh, some maintenance. And that's something cool to me about Greg Tech. It, it gives you something to do with your machines. It's not just plop and go, but then again, it's also something that's not necessarily the best, because you do have to keep up on that. And I don't, as far as I know, can't just uh, program a turtle to know when it's time to repair. Although, for all I know, you can. Or at least it would be good if you could have some sort of open peripheral. I think that mod's in this pack. I'm not sure. But open peripherals is a cool mod. lets your turtles do things that they ordinarily wouldn't or couldn't. Or at least detect things like that. People are texting me. My pants are vibrating. It's just astounding. Like, as you notice, I've been mining for quite a while. The only thing I've gotten in my my uh, inventory, only because it hasn't been collected by the other stuff because it doesn't belong there, is the uh, the one slime ball gelatinous slime, it's not technically a slime ball, uh, a copper ore berry and a copper ore berry bush. That's because everything thus far has been going into my backpacks. See, I've been collecting all of my cobble in here and all of my mined resource. Look at all that coal. Dang. I've already got a whole three stacks of coal, a couple of circus quartz, some copper, and some iron. The further we go down, like, copper is very common at higher altitudes, but the farther we go down, we'll run into things like tin, silver, lead, all those that you might be used to if you've played mods or maybe even just seen my, my uh, Darewolf 20 Let's Play. Because I think I, I delved further, uh, far enough into the, the world that I managed to find some. And, um, I think I'll, I'll finish this episode here because it is about 4.30, gotta eat around 5, and then from there, and that 30 minutes is allocated to Pokemon. From there I can make my animations, which, uh, I spent the other day actually just getting the software I needed. Because I hadn't, ins I didn't need to install Illustrator before Adobe Illustrator CS6, but I need it for After Effects, so I can make my my uh, picture actually 3D. You're familiar with it if you look at the thumbnail for this one and all the previous Unleashed ones, because it is that picture, except I separated out the text, which was actually quite difficult because. Uh, it's no clean lines, it has no clean, clean lines, I should say, indeed it is not clean lines, um, but everything is sort of blended, and so I had to go in with the quick select tool in Photoshop, and I had to select the text, and then I used the, uh, I used the magic wand at varying tolerances to try to get that worked out. But uh, I finally separated it. All I need to do now is take the two into Illustrator, which I, I finished 
just before I got on here, in fact, just before I asked Lucas if he would be willing to do uh, some talking, but he's not feeling up to it at the moment. Um, but, yeah, once I convert those, it will no longer uh, be a bendable thing in Ray Traced 3D in After Effects. It will finally... Oh, by the way, that was tin. Tucking without thinking. Um, I, it will finally be able to uh, be actual 3D, like extruded. Ordinarily, you would only be able to do that with things with vector maps, like text and... Uh, does that mean there's some nearby? Maybe not. Um, vector mapping like text and some symbols and such, but nothing as complicated as an image. That's what I have Illustrator for. And so... Oh, uh, what's that on my map? Those are little, like, pockets. It's very hard to see on the map, but if you really look at the differences in the color, then you'll notice there are some little bits of caves flying around, sort of all around me. They're not flying around, obviously, but they're like, they're everywhere. But yeah, I think I'm going to call it here, and I will see you guys next time. Like, comment, and subscribe, and goodbye.